episode of World Twilight Golfer, we're going to be going to the Jersey Shore for a historical golf course, Sea View Resort, the Bay Course. And on the top left-hand corner will be the scorecard and also an indication of what hole you're looking at. The Bay Course opened in 1914 and was designed by Hugh Wilson and Donald Ross. The beautiful golf course hosts the LPGA yearly, the ShopRite LPGA, and hosted the 1942 PGA Championship. So a lot of history at this golf course. The club hosted the ShopRite LPGA Classic from 1986 and 87, and from 1998 to 2006, and again starting in 2010, to currently. Since opening in 1914, it was one of the first golf courses in the area and was originally an elite golf course titled Seaview Country Club. In 2016, things got a little bit messy. The holes were rearranged for improved logistics and a few holes got a little bit longer. With its long history as a country club, in 1984, the Marriott Corporation bought the club and owned it until 2009. The course was then owned by Stockton College of New Jersey, which then managed the course out to Troom Golf. The course is identified as a link-style course with open fairways and an opportunity to slice the ball and still get on in two. It's definitely the type of course where you want to stop if you're in the area and go out with a few friends and try to slap a ball around and try to keep it in the fairway, like these guys know. The wonderful thing about this resort is there's two golf courses to choose from. The Bay Course, which we're looking at right now, and then also the Pines Course, which is on the other side of Route 9, but is also located on the resort and managed by Troom Golf. But going back to the course that we're looking at right now, the Bay Course provides scenic views of Atlantic City. To provide a little bit more statistical information about this course, it is an 18-hole golf course that is a par 71. Its listed length is 6,731 yards from the back tees. Its slope is 128, and it has a ranking of 71.7. The course greens and fairways are bent grass, and it is also open year-round. Now, the Pines course does close seasonally, but we were going out and playing the Bay course. The condition of the course right now is not in the best shape, but it is because it is in the wintertime, and this was taking place in December. This golf course has all the amenities if you were just looking to fly in from Philadelphia or Atlantic City, and you can also play a course that Ben Hogan played. One of the designers of the course, Donald Ross, is also famous for other courses that are well known like Pinehurst, East Lake Golf Club, and Oak Hill Country Club. The other designer, Hugh Wilson, is most noted for the last four holes of the famous Pine Valley Golf Club. Overall, this is a must-play course outside of Atlantic City if you were looking to play. The course is only about a 15-20 minute ride outside of Atlantic City and about an hour from Philadelphia. Again, it's a great golf course if you're looking to play 36 holes with the Pine Course just being right across the street and 15 minutes from Atlantic City. And with friendly staff and a bar right there on the 19th hole, I don't see why you wouldn't want to play this course if you were going to Atlantic City. Going to do it for this golf course. Keep a lookout for more videos to come, other golf courses, and top golf courses around the world. This is World Twilight Golfer.